I don't remember the formula. Is it pi equals to five point one three two? Money divided by x equal what? Money or x? <laughs> Can you see that I've already given up? <laughs> ah, this is so tough. How do you do this if you are 12? Quick maths! My name is Kevin Huang. I've been teaching primary maths for nearly 9 years now. I wouldn't say it's exceptionally difficult. It has some difficulty to it. But I believe most of the concepts have been taught in schools already. It's just that the question is presented in a very unfamiliar context. In schools, what they try to do is the concrete, pictorial and abstract approach. For students who didn't really have the chance to focus on the concrete and pictorial aspect, they tend to struggle with the real object itself in, in, when they try to visualise it before moving on to the abstract component. There's a lot of comments of this <coughs> over the internet but on our side, we didn't really get that many complaints. I would say the question's difficulty more or less remain the same. Some years will be easier than the others, no doubt. But the, the good thing is that it's always presented in a very creative and unfamiliar way. There are questions that are challenging that are meant to differentiate the students from the A's and the A stars. If the paper is too easy, right, the paper would favour those who are very meticulous, but it would handicap those who are smart but are careless. We can see that a 15% discount enabled her to buy six more. And that will give you Get for the headcount question. Was it 40? Yes. It was? Okay. Angela, what did you get? I got 1% is 0 0.4 in tarts. <laughs> <laughs> is this going one, right? Then times one 100. Percent? Percent. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, so yeah. I, I kind so of 40, got yeah. it, right? Yeah. It's not possible to buy like negative egg tarts. <laughs> so I think I'm in trouble. Negative egg tarts is like <laughs> yeah, it's like you give the guy money and then you give him egg tarts. <laughs>